A young mother of two children recently lost her husband. We have not identified her at her request. She doesn't believe her husband was involved in any criminal activities. My husband used to work as a simple day labourer in the camp. He worked very hard for his money. It was after four days that I found out that he was killed by the security forces. The recent murder of a local ruling party politician sparked violent attacks against Rohingya by some in the host community. Instead of defusing the tension, law enforcement officers allegedly refused to intervene and protect the refugees. More than a dozen Rohingyas have been killed by security forces in recent weeks. Most were accused for their involvement in a killing of a local ruling party politician. The atmosphere in these refugee camps are very tense right now. Authorities often link these extrajudicial killings to the drug, human trafficking and other criminal activities. Another young woman who became a widow recently thinks her husband was wrongfully framed and killed. He was accused of drug smuggling. She says she's scared and is now left alone with her two children. Justice. We couldn't find it in Myanmar after all the atrocities committed against us. And I don't expect to find any kind of justice here for my husband's death. In the last two years since the Rohingya exodus to Bangladesh, more than 46 Rohingya have been killed by security forces. Some group are uh, engaged to different illegal activities, suppose drug trafficking and human trafficking and other robbery-like uh, uh, criminal activities. So the situation-based decision we have taken, when we are uh, failed to control or arrest them, then uh, to save and secure our police personnel and our life, in that purpose, sometimes this type of gunfight happened. Rights activists say these incidents are unacceptable. Two years on from the genocide in Myanmar, the sympathy and compassion towards the Rohingya in Bangladesh seems to be slowly fading. After a period of relative calm and stability, uncertainty and fear are now haunting the refugees. Tanvir Chaudhry, Al Jazeera, Balukali, Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh.